Hey guys, wanted to go ahead and just do a really quick review of two particular products. This is the Martin 9-in-1, and this is the Performance Tool Forging 38. Now, I do want to let you know but that by the time this video is released, um, I will no longer be keeping these. This will, this will go back to Whole Foods. These both have failed the Whole Foods test. The Whole Foods test basically is, if something is not good, I return it back to Whole Foods Returns. And unfortunately, both of these are not good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show a bunch of pictures which show all the measurements, the weight, the length, and how it compares to other tools. So you can just look at all that, which will actually give you a lot of information, as well as each of the tools released. So I'm going to tell you about each of these. Um, why did I buy both of these? So this is actually $10.99. That's really cheap. It's a multi-tool that's 10, like 11 bucks, And this is $7.99. And um, I, it's, it's hard to tell from pictures, right? So... I was hoping um, that if you really think about it, that's dirt cheap. And I was thinking, man, what if it's like as good as like the, the Gerber dime, which is like 20 to $30 these days? Or what if it's as good as a, a squirt, you know what I mean? Which you can't find anymore. And, um, you know, it seemed like, at least on pictures, there seemed to be some things that made it seem attractive. You know, it seems to have certain aspects which would seem pretty cool, um, at least on picture. So I want to talk about both of these and why... These don't quite make the cut for me, and they're different reasons, and they're very subjective. But um, but yeah, let's get started. So with the first one, the performance tool, so the way it's put together is, is with rivets. So um, the problem is that when I try to release the tools out, it's very difficult to take them out. And so I was thinking maybe I could loosen something up, but no, because these are rivets, it's set in stone pretty much. And um, it's very cheaply made. Now, I know it's cheap. Right. I know it's, a, I mean, it literally is a $7 one and, but it, this is so flitzy. And even when you close it right here, um, see how it just kind of goes, that goes like right on top of that. That's poor craftsmanship overall. So overall, this just feels really poorly made and it is a genuine bit of danger because since each of these don't really quite come out, then I had to use another tool to take it out and it's not going to really because there's no like screws that I can actually adjust here, like usually there's a T6 or a T8 or something that I, that I can use, you can't do that. So this is sort of like, it's just not good. So that's why that goes. But it's too bad because this actually has a lifetime warranty and it's uh, $8, which is really dirt cheap. And in theory, I was thinking maybe I could just use it for its pliers because its total weight right now is about the same weight as a Gerber dime. But the most important question comes about and... This is the most important question for me. Is it better than a Gerber dime? Is it better than a Leatherman squirt? Is it on par? And no, it's a lot worse. So that kind of is why I'm not returning. I mean, I'm returning that and not going to keep it. The next one I'm talking about is a Martin 9-in-1. So uh, same thing. It's kind of like the question I had in mind. Is it better than a Leatherman squirt? Or is it on par? Is it on par with even a Gerber dime? And no, this is worse. It's just... Now, what I want to say is it's not... Uh, it's hard for me to show it in a video. It's more like when you feel it and you look at it and you're just like, Ugh. so the problem I have with this one is that basically I knew it didn't have much tools to begin with. You know, it's really simple. It's like basically you get pliers, you got a knife, you got a screwdriver and you got a saw and that's it. And I, I like the charm of that. I like that it was that simple. But when I actually look at the implements, I realize that it's just, it's heavy for no reason, right? This is like, or it's not heavy, but it's like, um, so as an example, so, right. So this is like, yeah, 3.6 ounces and I have, uh, well, this is a little bit modded because I, I ripped everything out of here, but this is 3.8 ounces, just 0.2 ounces more. And this is a far more capable tool for me. So the too long didn't read in the most simplest, simplistic way. I feel like given the tools that it has, it's, like, especially since it only has a knife, it only has, it's like, it has no reason to be this heavy. And it's really not that good. The, the quality is just not very good. And it, the most simplistic way I can say is it's not better than a dime. It's not better than a squirt. And uh, I kind of was hoping for a good bang for your buck thing. So yeah, in the end, both of these are going to be returned. And uh, yeah, you know, I figured I'd make a video on this because I, I didn't see a video on this particular tool. And maybe people want to know, but uh, yeah, I mean, maybe you guys might like it. I don't know, but uh, that's my two cents. All right, you guys have a great one. Okay, bye.